All right, four things on the paper. First thing is that you have an angel. Say it. I have an angel. And my angel is connected to all of the angels in the cosmos. My angel has connections. You have an angel. My God. Hallelujah. 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 It's number one. Number two. I am learning to speak the language of angels. Learning to speak the language of angels. What I say? What is the language of angels? Well, under your point number two, angels speak through thought. Thought. I'm learning the language of thought. That I ain't got to say everything I feel. That I can think some stuff without anybody around me knowing. And there will be no physical manifestations on my face. Amen. But my angel is communicating with other angels that has the stuff to bring it to where I am. My days for a lot of moving and movement is over. And I don't mean in the physical capacity, I'm talking in the spirit realm. That I can think and things manifest out of my thoughts. Because speaking is human, but thinking is spiritual. And in my study on being quiet, I'm not being quiet in my thinking. I'm just not using my vocal. Mm. Hallelujah. I got that covered. I don't want to pick on the old mothers, but that's, that, that's they, they had stuff without definition. And that's where their rocking came from. Ah, mm, mm, eh, ah because they connected with something in the nation of thought where angels were sitting around all day long waiting to be employed by somebody whose thought life was strong enough to move them to make something happen. And you ain't got to think hard. You just flow. Now the danger of this, the danger of this, 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 this thought practice is a danger in it. Because if you are not schooled and you're not prepared, you're going to start picking up information from other angels who are willing to talk to your angel. Which means you're going to tap into some stuff that you don't want to know about. And that's where the study on quietness is going to be so important because you're going to start hearing things in your spirit that has not manifest anywhere in the natural. And to mention it at this particular time would be to out somebody who has not even done what they're getting ready to do. Y'all ain't hearing me tonight. Uh, you have an angel. You have an angel. And you're going to learn angel talk. How to pick up on the whispers in the spirit realm and they not drive you crazy. Learn how to manage what you hear in your spirit. Because when you begin to understand this type of communication, it is always days, months, years ahead of its time. And if you're not quiet, you'll speak something that is going to happen before it even got to the person. Y'all in here. And now you're, you're discredited as a lunatic when you're not. 
Ain't nothing lunatic about you. You saw something in the spirit. You're not, you're not going to tell me that Nostradamus did not see those planes flying into the World Trade Center. He saw it, but they locked him up for it because he saw it at a time when there was nothing remotely compared in that time. There was nothing that had been built that could destroy a structure that was so strong. But he saw a bird flying into a building and wrote the word Iron Bird, which was a plane. But there was no planes. There were towers, but there were no planes. And he saw it on fire, and he saw people jumping out of the windows and off of the roofs of those buildings. And to look at his writings 1,600, to, wow, 16, 1,700 years later, to look at his writings, you can actually take the water paintings and flash it over the World Trade Center, and it's the same exact picture. He had tapped into something, and I'm trying to get you to tap into something. If you're fretting yourself because of evildoers, if you're becoming jealous of the envious works of other individuals, if you're upset with God because he's blessing somebody and he's not blessing you, you're wasting your time. Let's learn the talk of angels. So that we can begin to tap into the supernatural realm of the spirit. And when God begins to show you stuff, you're not going to be able to talk about it. Because he will show you it before it happens. Say to your neighbor, I'm studying now. It's difficult. This is this is this is this is difficult, and, and and not to split, not to not to put, not not to get into uh, gender uh, 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 specific messages. But women seem to have a greater ability and a greater capacity to tap into this more than men. I don't I don't I don't understand it, but it's true. Very very true. You watch this thing. Very, very, very true. Very, very true. That your angels are working for you and what you call intuition is really an angel. And what you call inner thoughts and inner thinking is really, really an angel. And this thing is working and he's tapping on the lenses of your eye. Tap, 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 tap. Telling you, telling you, telling you. But you can't receive it because you keep on looking at yourself. You have to stop looking at yourself and you have to hear from God. This is the season where God is about to give you the desires of your heart. What are the desires of your heart? You want your child to finish school. Yeah, you're wasting that desire. Your child is going to finish school. You have to do a big, whole big prayer, a whole big production over that. All of us go through seasons and stuff. You know, in, 